Generator X 3.0 was a digital fabrication workshop where we uh, combine code with uh, existing practices in art, art design and architecture and we're looking for people to create new forms and ideas out of physical fabrication processes. And what's really interesting is that digital fabrication is kind of bringing a new view on this whole world of, of computers and, and you know desktop um, you know layout systems etc like people are used to certain ways of working with computers but actually when you combine them with um, physical manufacturing processes something completely new happens which is that they're they're actually imagining objects and spaces and structures which can suddenly be realized as physical forms which is really quite a different uh, situation I mean artists might be used to sort of you know their particular practice but um, suddenly seeing their practice through a new lens and seeing new possibilities that come out of uh, fabrication technologies. So for the workshop we use a range of different uh, software, most of them open source. We use Processing quite a lot, which is a um, programming tool that's for visual artists and, and designers, which is built on top of Java and it's, a, it's an open source project so people can build their own extensions to it. Um, we had for instance Frederick Van Hoot who, uh, who's built his own 3D library on top of it. I have a 3D library that's, that works on top of it. And sort of seeing how different tools uh, shape the creativity in different ways is really quite interesting. Then we had people who work with completely different uh, processes like, uh, for instance, using a Kinect to capture three-dimensional spatial data, um, and also people who are working in pure two, 2D and thinking really in terms of two-dimensional um, layout and composition processes, but combining it with, with data practices. For the, the people who were in the workshop, there was quite a lot of interest in data. So we had some data visualization, both 3D prints and, uh, and two-dimensional works. Um, we had some pure geometry explorations, which is always really interesting. Of course, you know, they, they're studies. They, they're not necessarily finished pieces, but they're, um, but they're very interesting steps along the way to something new happening. Um, and I think uh, for, some, for most of the people, it was quite a challenge compared to what they're used to doing, which, which is my personal goal at least.